We've lost, you know, estimates of up to 80% of this habitat from logging. And more and more of these Douglas fir trees started encroaching. They have gotten so thick and dense that they're competing with these old, old growth, large diameter trees. Basically, these, these forests have changed quite a bit over the last hundred years. Historically, these forests had fires that came through oh, anywhere between 10 or 30 years. They would take a lot of smaller trees, like the ones I use for the pens and watches. They wouldn't affect the larger, you know, these big two, three foot diameter pine and larch trees that had thick bark and were resistant to fire. When we started excluding fire, more and more of these Douglas fir trees started encroaching and um, Ideally, we could reintroduce fire into, into these stands and things would be go back to the way they were. But the problem is there are too many trees and the, the fuel loads would, would make the fires catastrophic. So what we can do in the interim is cut down a lot of the trees that have unnaturally encroached into the forest and remove those. And then after that is done, then you can reintroduce fire. I discovered that these small suppressed trees in the understory that might be 10 feet tall, they're much older than, than people would think. They'd be anywhere from 25 to, to 50 years old in a one and a half inch tree. If you think about a, a small tree that's been in this forest for 30 years, you multiply that by 365 days, that is over 10,000 sunrises that that tree has taken in. To me, that's inspiring. I launched my company in 2010. The original inspiration for Tree Ring was actually, oh, probably a decade or so before that when I was doing my master's in tree ring analysis and dendrochronology. And one night late in the lab, I had an idea that, that I could make a pen out of one of the tree ring cores. When I discovered that, I thought, wow, this is a neat way to show a lot of history in a small item that would be commonly used and that would be treasured by someone. What drove me to the watches was discovering that these inch and a half diameter trees that are stuck in the understory actually have decades of annual rings in them. As a watch, it is also symbolic of time, which connects the tree rings to the item that, that is being made. My work is really micro scale. I'm not able to use that many trees for my pens and watches. So in order to have a, a bigger impact for my business, I decided to give 5% of proceeds back to groups that are doing restoration in old growth forest types. These old growth forests, they provide unique habitat that other types of forests do not provide. And I, I guess that's the that's the downside of losing them, is you lose that important habitat. From a more metaphysical standpoint, you also lose all the history that's embedded in those rings. So some of these are, you know, three, 400 year old trees. And uh, th those tree rings have, have quite a lot of stories to tell. My name is Dave Wager and my company is Tree Ring.